Hi friends, I'm Amy Guglielmo, a co-founder of Outside Art, Plattsburgh Public Art Project. And I'm here today to tell you a little bit about astronaut Michael Anderson from Plattsburgh and the mural that we made, Reach for the Stars, the Michael Anderson mural to pay tribute to him. Here with me today is my partner. Hi, I'm Julia Devine, and I'm a co-founder of Outside Art, Plattsburgh Public Art Project. We started Outside Art in Plattsburgh in 2016 with a dream to paint the town. Outside Art is a community organization that produces and creates public art for Plattsburgh. We work with local, regional, and national artists to animate public space with the goal of building community and making Plattsburgh a destination for art and a place for artists to settle and create. Outside Art has produced 13 murals for downtown Plattsburgh since we started in 2016. That's five years. Highlights include the Woods and Wild Things mural on the side of Cornerstone Bookshop, Harvest behind the North Country Food Co-op, the Read and Grow Dream Garden mural on the side of the Plattsburgh Public Library, the Jean Arthur mural in Protection Alley, the Migrations mural on Court Street, and of course, the Michael Anderson mural painted by artist Brendan Palmer Angel, who you'll hear from soon. When we learned that Michael Anderson, an astronaut, was born in Plattsburgh, we knew we had to recognize him. Then we had to find a place, an artist, and funding to do it. The Arts Park on Durkee Street was the perfect location, and Brendan was the perfect artist. Michael Philip Anderson, a United States Air Force officer and NASA astronaut, was born in Plattsburgh, New York at Plattsburgh Air Force Base Hospital while his father served as jets for the Air Force. His father was later transferred to Washington State. In 1981, Anderson earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Physics and Astronomy from the University of Washington in Seattle, and in 1990, he was awarded a Master's of Science degree in Physics from Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska. After graduation, Anderson was commissioned a second lieutenant in the U.S. Air Force. He received his training at several air bases around the country and then returned to Plattsburgh. From September 1992 to February 1995, he was assigned as an instructor pilot and tactics officer in the 380th Air Refueling Wing at Plattsburgh Air Force Base. Anderson had logged more than 3,000 hours of flight time when NASA selected him for astronaut training in December 1994. He was one of 19 candidates selected from a pool of over 2,900 applicants. Anderson reported to the Johnson Space Center in March 1995. He completed a year of training and evaluation and was qualified for flight crew assignment as a mission specialist. Anderson was initially assigned technical duties in the flight support branch of the astronaut office, but went on to log more than 593 hours in space aboard two space shuttle missions. Anderson was a mission specialist on the Endeavour on the 8th Shuttle to Mir Space Station docking mission, during which the crew delivered more than 9,000 pounds of scientific equipment, logistical hardware, and water. He served as the payload commander and lieutenant colonel in charge of science experiments on the Columbia shuttle. On February 1, 2003, the shuttle was returning to Earth after a successful 16-day 16 trip, 16 trip to orbit, where the crew had conducted more than 80 scientific experiments. Unbeknownst um, to her crew, the orbiter had suffered critical damage during its launch on January 16th when the foam from the fuel tank's insulation fell off and tore a hole in Columbia's left wing. During re-entry, the hole allowed super-hot atmospheric gases to penetrate the orbiter's wing, leading to its destruction. Sadly, Anderson and his six fellow crew members perished in the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster. Anderson was posthumously awarded the Congressional Space Medal of Honor. And now some thoughts from our artist, Brendan Palmer Angel. Hi, I'm Brendan Palmer Angel. I'm the artist who created the mural of Michael Anderson in Plattsburgh, New York. I think it was really important to celebrate Michael Anderson partially for his unusual leadership. Um, I had the 
the privilege of speaking with his wife Sandy before I started painting the mural as as part of the um, background research and she said he was the kind of guy who would never let on that he was an astronaut that that was his job um, you know and in, in uh, at parties or anything like that he, he just uh, really kept that quiet but um, by all accounts you know teachers he had in high school um, his commanding officer at the Plattsburgh Air Force Base, who I also got to speak with, um, all said he was just like an incredible intellect, um, very genius, genius mind. Um, but he was also incredibly kind. And you see that in a lot of the photos of him. Um, that was something that struck me about him, um, especially the photos where he's about to go into space. He has this giant smile on his face, um, just so excited about what he's doing. And I think it would be easy to think, you know, okay, he's going up into space, this is going to be awesome. Um, but, you know, he also understood the, the inherent risks of, of what he was doing. Um, but he, he loved, loved science. Um, he loved exploration. Michael Anderson was the, the payload commander for the Space Shuttle Columbia, which meant that he was in charge of all the scientific experiments for their mission, um, keeping everything uh, running and planned before they even got up there. Um, so he had to be super meticulous about getting all of that um, together just so um, and then running it while they were up in space. Um, when I was talking to Sandy, I also asked her about um, this, this giant grin on his face, which you see in the photos not only um, as he's getting ready to go into space, it's particularly pronounced there, but um, also when they're training, when they're they're designing experiments. Um, and that was something that really struck me was this sort of like gentle strength about him. Um, and I asked Sandy, you know, what, what was like, am I getting this right? Like how, what was he like? She said, yeah, that was, that was him. Um, incredibly humble and, um, but confident. That was something that his, his commanding officer also said which kind of threw me off, um, was that he, he was an incredibly confident person, um, but without being self-aggrandizing. So I was struck by a lot of this, uh, just as sort of an unconventional leadership style. Um, someone who, who was really confident, but also not self-aggrandizing. I think, I think that's, that's rare in leadership, but I think it's, an incredibly effective um, way of engaging with others. And I feel like that's, that's really important for this moment that we're in. Another thing that struck me while I was doing research for the mural was this concept of um, an overview effect. Astronauts talk about going up into space, seeing the Earth from um, 60,000 miles or however high it is, and just having this paradigm shift where you kind of get it like wow we are we're all on one earth um i know it sounds weird to say it that way but um actually seeing it has this transformational effect on astronauts and um i think that's a that's a really important idea for our world right now uh, with all the divisions that we have um, that are really very conceptual in a lot of ways. I mean, we're all human beings, um, so similar to each other, um, despite superficial differences. Um, and so I love that idea. That was why we included the Earth um, in that final design, that idea of, of looking down from space and not seeing any borders. Um, and when I asked Sandy about that, she, she actually said that, um, he said that the experience strengthened his faith, um, his personal faith.
as well. Um, so the process of making a giant mural is incredibly fun. Um, it's challenging, um, even just to get lines up there to begin with. Um, I use a projector and a lift and, and all of that. Um, and then, you know, you have a 20 by 40 foot surface, you've got to touch every, <laughs> every square inch of it. Um, but I use spray paint, which moves pretty fast and um, you can also ruin very fast. Um, but yeah, it was, it was incredibly fun. Um, I think the most gratifying part of the whole process was seeing people react to it. I didn't know about Michael Anderson um, and that he had lived in Plattsburgh or had been born in Plattsburgh um, before Amy brought up this idea of painting him. And so it was a, it was a real honor to um, get to introduce Michael Anderson to, our, to my hometown and to his hometown um, and to see the response from people like, wow, there, there's an astronaut from, <laughs> from Plattsburgh. Um, and in particular, it was just so much fun getting to see kids learn about him. Um, they, they responded really strongly and I even got a couple of drawings as a gift from from uh, some kids at the end of the project. Um, so it took about two weeks, you know, pretty much every day, eight to 10 hours painting, if it wasn't raining, um, to do the painting. So it's, it's a marathon, it's a marathon. And I listen to a lot of music, um, especially when I'm dragging. And so I texted Michael's wife, Sandy, to ask her, you know, what, what did Michael like to listen to? Um, and because sometimes when I'm doing a painting of somebody, I really want to hear their voice, get a sense of sort of their, their mind state, what they really enjoyed, and um, try to channel it for, for the painting. Um, and she said, you know, that's a funny story. Um, he really liked Earl Clue, um, among others, who I had never heard of. Um, and the, in particular, this one album called Sudden Burst of Energy, um, which is like groovy, easy listening. Um, and it turned out that the astronauts, when they went up, they could all bring a certain number of things. Back then, uh, it was CDs, and he was allowed to bring two albums with him, one of which was Earl Clue's Sudden Burst of Energy. Um, and she said that when Columbia exploded, um, those two CDs were some of the only objects that survived the explosion intact. And somehow the, um, the recovery team found those discs and they gave them to her um, after everything was said and done. So it was really um, kind of surreal to be listening to this music while painting the mural. Um, it's not the kind of music I would normally listen to, but uh, it was really, it's really fun. So working on something this large is obviously really tricky. Uh, there's a lot of problem solving. You're dealing with a surface that's, a, that's brick and you're dealing with um, weather, you're dealing with a parking lot, you're dealing with all kinds of different, different things coming at you every day. Um, but one thing that stands out in particular is how do you see what you're doing? Because in that lift, it's only about two, three feet deep, three feet deep. Um, and you, you can't really get back to look at this giant thing that you're painting. Um, so a lot of times I have to go up and down and then run back through the parking lot and look and see what I've done and say, you know, with the photo and say like, oh, his tear duct is a little off and get on and run back up and everything like that. Um, this, um, this was the first time I had used w what's called a boom lift, which is that the arm that goes up and down and back and forth. Um, and it was really neat to be able to, instead of having to go down and run across to the thing, you could swing the whole thing out about 25 feet and get back from that wall really quick, um, which, which helped with the process a lot. Also meant that I didn't have to go down and uh, get distracted by people and have a conversation and then break it off and come back. Overall, it was just an incredible experience. Um, 
I would highly recommend to anyone interested in painting murals to try it at some point. Um, it looks kind of hard. It is hard, but um, I think there's there's a lot of um, tools and tricks to learn how to do it that just kind of demystify it. Um, so please th think big and think broad. Um, you know that a lot of the mural was about this expansive vi vision of our planet of who we are um, and celebrating you know an incredible human being um, who was not only kind but brilliant and strong and humble and confident all at the same time thanks for having me um, really appreciate you guys have a good one. Hi, it's Julia again with Outside Art. You just learned about Plattsburgh astronaut Michael Anderson and muralist Brendan Palmer Angel, who both worked hard to follow their dreams. Michael Anderson would encourage all of you to reach for the stars because we are all stars. So right now, we are going to make our very own character strength star. And here are my helpers, Isaac, age 10, Sullivan, age 8, Hugh, also age 8, and Louisa, age 6. We're going to reach for the stars. First, choose your sheet of paper, any kind of paper. Next, choose something to draw with. It can be anything. It could be a marker, a crayon, a colored pencil, pen, whatever you like to draw with. At the top of your page, I recommend that you have it vertical. You will write, I am a star. You can write it in all capital letters, or you can use different colors. You can draw little things around it, whatever you would like to do. After you write that, then you are going to draw a big star on your piece of paper. Stars can be tricky. I like to start with the top triangle and then go to my next triangle. You can go over here. You may want to use a pencil first and then outline it in marker, crayon, colored pencil. And there you are, I am a star, and you have your big star. Now count the points on your star. How many do you see? I bet you see five. Here are five statements. We are going to fill in words or phrases for these statements that will really let our stars shine. I show determination and grit when I, I am hopeful about, I am curious about, I am grateful for, I am excited about. So let's see what we can come up with. And you're going to come up with your own words or phrases and you can write them inside or outside the star. So I'll start. I show determination and grit when I clean the house. I am hopeful about my future. My future. I am curious about sharks. sharks. I am grateful for my family. My family. I am excited about my birthday. My birthday. Everyone loves their birthday. And if anyone has a birthday today, happy birthday. So you come up with your own words or phrases and write them inside or outside the star. Write with different colors, add any drawings. It's up to you and we are going to let our stars shine because we are all stars.
We, we hope, hope you reach for the stars! Now it's time for an out of this world science experiment. Thank you for joining us today. Please check out the art in downtown Plattsburgh and stay tuned for more exciting projects from Outside Art. Shine on!